Day, the 17th. First thing I want to talk about today is something that you hear a lot from that kind of chick, slightly liberal, emergent, relevant, church growth, marketing, doesn't really matter where you're coming from, we all want to say this idea crowd which says, the people today have changed and they're different and so the words that we used to use in church no longer need to be used. It's essentially kind of like this. Now this is a very strange idea. This is like a teacher who gets up in front of a classroom and he says, well, my students don't know the information that I need to teach them. And so since they don't know this information that I'm supposed to teach them already, I'm not going to teach them. Instead, I'll teach them something they already know. Now that's a strange idea. You might even call that person not so much a teacher as a false teacher. If the purpose of teaching is to give people information they don't already know, especially if this information is the actual word of God, uh, well then maybe we should do that. All of this is really even more silly when you recognize that most of the language, or at least a lot of the language that think that people don't know, they actually do know. Maybe they can't like define it on a written test, but it's used all the time. A classic example that is constantly brought up is the word justification. Oh my goodness, what a strange word. Nobody uses this word anymore. I can't believe that people would be so silly as to think we could speak this word in the pulpit and have it have any meaning whatsoever because it's just, it's not even part of English. So, Salvo Magazine. We talked about this one briefly. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is a Roman Catholic oriented magazine, but I tell you, when it comes to social conservative issues and doing their research, I am impressed with Salvo Magazine. Why Twilight is so popular. John Granger, who is a specialist as a Harry Potter scholar, picks apart why books succeed and why they don't. Fascinating. It is the common sense observation that for a book to resonate with readers, it must reflect and confirm their core beliefs about the world. When a book sells really well, I think it is reasonable to assume that it has provided an experience that says that the way that we think is correct. It's really not possible to entirely step outside the concerns and beliefs of your age. That is to say, everyone, highbrow and lowbrow alike, is advancing the core myth of society. Our current postmodern core myth is, ironically and with no little contradiction, all societal myths are bad because they make it impossible for us to see things as they really are and create a necessary division of the world into good guys with power and others who are marginal. So our core myth as a society is that all societal myths are bad because they put somebody in power and so we need to tear them all down and you'll wonder why nobody's coming to church. Our core evil is thus prejudice resulting from unexamined belief. That is, if you think something and you haven't thought about it enough, it must be evil and wrong because it will lead you to do bad things. That is, if you assert that something is true and you allow it to remain true and never question it because it has become true, that is the source of prejudice and evil, right? So I've decided that this color is black and that is going to lead me to destroy the world. Our core struggle is our inability to know anything for certain. See, that comes right out of this, that because I can't actually say that that's black, then I can't actually know it's black. And this gives me a real tremor within my conscience and within my life because I, I just don't, I just don't know. Who am I? What are you? What are we doing here? It becomes constant questions and no answers. Our core struggle is our inability to know anything for certain, blinded as we are by our beliefs. And so into this mix, anytime I believe something, this becomes the biggest detriment I have to actually knowing something. And our core good is the freedom resulting from a self-actualized choice that transcends prejudices. That is, I really have become good when I put behind me something I used to think. He goes on to say, I think you will find that all of the novels on the bestseller list reflect these themes and sell well. Now, if that ain't deep, I don't know what is, but I tell you, I learn every time I read Salvo magazine. <laughs> I don't even know if I represented it correctly.